He may look like an ordinary man. He makes his cup of tea every morning. He lives in a villa with his wife and two kids. But the one thing that makes Ian McKellar quite unique is that he's, well, a clown. And not just any clown. No, no. This one can help you lose weight, become a better employee, or even help educate your children. So Ian, you must get this question a lot. You know, what made you decide to become a clown? Couldn't hold down a straight job. <laughs> that was the first thing. But I trained as an actor uh, straight out of school. And while I was there, I learned to juggle. I learned to unicycle. And I learned a whole lot of clowning skills. And I found that I had an actual propensity for stupidness, okay. stupidity. And, uh, and so it was a natural to become a clown. Now, you don't just do clowning to entertain, but also for personal development and to educate. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. how so? Well, I, I don't always uh, wear full clown makeup when I'm entertaining. I have another character which is called The Healthy Chef, where I teach kids all about healthy eating and exercise. And I also do performances in schools not in makeup at all, dressed like a normal person with a tie, you know. And what I do is I illuminate areas of curriculum but I also tie that in with magic or juggling, so kids retain it in their memory more effectively than if they're just being taught in a lesson situation. <laughs> okay, Ian may be great at educating through clowning, but let's see how quickly he can teach me how to become a clown. <laughs> now the important thing about clown makeup is you make it fit with the person's natural, silly features. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ah. Let's throw this to this. There we go. I want two. So, Mr. Dropsy, in in all honesty, how much potential do you think I have to, you know, become a <laughs> become a clown? I'll become a, well. Well, this is the important thing. We've pointed out that to be a good clown, you don't have to have a bad red wig. In fact, it's better if you don't. Hmm. Of course, you have to have the makeup. You have a naturally stupid face. <laughs> so it works very well with you. We've just made the makeup, that's good. But there's one other essential thing that determines whether you're a really bad clown. What's that? Or a good clown. What's that? Okay, okay, it's time to stop clowning around. You know, people always say that laughter is the best medicine, but clowns like Ian have proven that laughter is also a great tool for great communication. And in all fairness, why wouldn't you want to listen to someone who's making you laugh? <laughs> and I thought you were there. <laughs> ah, Mr. Dropsy! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>